All right, here we go with sixth grade Excel, lesson number 41. We're gonna be looking, learning the equivalent for one year in days and in weeks, learning about leap year, and calculating elapsed time crossing months within a week. So here we go, one year equals how many days? Do you know? If you do, fill in the blank before I tell you. Here we go, here we go. How many days are in a year? 365 is the correct answer. How many weeks are in a year? Well, we could figure that out by doing 365 divided by seven. Or we can just memorize the fact that there are 52 weeks in a year. And this is not going to come out exact, but it'll be close so that you'll know that it's 52 in case you forget. The number of days in the month of February in each year is determined by the year. Normally, February has 28 days. Every four years is a leap year, however, and in those years, February has 29 days. So in a leap year, if we have an extra day in February, an extra day in the year, we are going to have 300, see if you can beat me on writing this, and 66 days. So what, again, let's go over this to what we just learned, is that February in one year is going to have 28 days. February the next year is going to have 28 days. February the next year is going to have 28 days. And then February in the year after that is going to have 29 days. And it just keeps going like that. The next February and the next year after that is going to have 28. The next February, 28. February is going to have 28. And then February, 29 days. So every four years, we end up with 29 days or an extra day in February. And I'm not going to explain to you now why that happens. Uh, it be a little too complicated for our limitations that we have on this video. To determine if it is a leap year, divide the year by four. If the remainder is zero, then it is a leap year. The exception to this is the year that marks the end of a century. In that case, it is only a leap year if the year is divisible by 400 with no remainder. For example, both 1600 and 17 are divisible by four with no remainder, but 1700 was not a leap year because 1700 is not evenly divisible by 400. So the only years that end with 00, zero that are gonna be leap years are the years of 400, 800, 1200, 1600, the year that we just passed of 2000, and the next year leap year that we're going to have that ends in 00, zero would be the year 2400. But you don't need to worry about that because we're all going to be gone by then. All right, how do we figure out how many days are in February? We take the year and we divide it by four. You can actually just take the year, the two digits of the year and divide it by four. You don't have to do all four digits as long as you know this rule about the two zeros. So the year 60, 1960 divided by four, there is no remainder, something like that. So it's gonna be a leap year if it goes in evenly. Here's how I uh, remember the difference between when it is a leap year and when, if it's not, when it's not. R, we know, means remainder. But when it comes to finding leap years, we're gonna say R means regular. Okay, so if it has a remainder, if it has an R, that tells you it's a regular year, or there are 28 days on a regular year, or 365 in the whole year. All right, here we go with number two and three and four. I'm gonna have to give you those years, and you'll write them in and figure out if they're leap years or not, and then you're gonna write a 28 or a 29 down here in the blank on the bottom. Okay, the first year I want you to do for number two is the year 1930. But remember, you don't have to divide 1930 by four, you can just do 30 by four. All right, pause the video, do that one, and then turn it back on. So you should do 30 divided by four. Four times seven is 28. Subtract to get two. So we have, excuse me, a remainder. Remember, our remainder means regular. This is a regular year, and so there are 28 days in February of that year. All right, I'll give you the last two here. Number three, I want you to do 1836. And number four, I want you to do 1862. Again, you don't need to worry about the 18s. You can just do the last two digits. Pause the video, do three and four. Turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. Okay, 36 divided by four is nine. It goes in evenly. There is no remainder. So this is not a regular year, which means it is a leap year, 29 days. 62 divided by four. Four goes into six one time. That's four. Subtract and get two. Bring down my two. Four goes into 22 five times. That's 20, subtract and get a two. So we have 15 remainder two. Since it has a remainder, it's a regular year. 
which means there are 28 days in February of that year. All right, here we go with some calendar problems where we're crossing over from one month to another one. It says you can add, subtract, or use a chart to learn the date of a weekday in another month. So today is Wednesday, July 2nd. Last Friday was, so what they did was they drew Wednesday over here. This date started here because we're going was, we're going backwards. Wednesday was the second, then they made a calendar that goes back to Friday. Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, and then filled in the dates. And you have to know that June has 30 days only, so that you know to write a 30 there and not a 31. And that takes you back to Friday the 27th. It's a good idea to make a little mini calendar like this for a problem that's real simple, real quick, just going from the July 2nd back to the last Friday. The answer is June 27th. Today is Tuesday, January 29th. February 3rd will be on it. So I'm going to get you started on this, and then I want you to pause the video and finish it. It's Tuesday the 29th. I want that written over here on the left side. Don't start it over here because it says will be. So we're going to be moving in this direction. Okay, go ahead and work your way over to February the 3rd. Notice we're in the month of January, so you have to know how many days are in January. Make a little miniature calendar that goes off this way and figure out what day of the week, this is a day of the week, that February 3rd will be on. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready for the solution. All right, that's Tuesday. We go to Wednesday, which is the 30th. Thursday is the 31st because there are 31 days in January. Friday is the 1st. Saturday the 2nd. And Sunday will be February the 3rd. So the answer is a Sunday. All righty, that's it. Thanks for watching.